need to say. This is about my third time trying this shit. This is a mess. I need to make that clear right now. This is a big mess. And it's not fun talking about this whatsoever. So I'm going to do my best to make this as cohesive as possible enough for you guys to understand what led to this video and just what led to all the events that occurred that I'm going to show off. With me, I also have Dom press his buttons. Say hi. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> he seems pretty annoyed about this, and I am too. But let's 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 go ahead and hop into it. So, what triggered this whole thing? What triggered the ban of newbie out of the Bloody Roar Discord was basically me responding to him, basically going to a friend that complimented me, saying that I was the best. He felt the need to comment on a compliment that did not need correction because it was subjective it was just something fun it was something that i should appreciate it's clearly something that he did not appreciate um so i went ahead and i responded to him and in this response i made a thread which will be linked in the description of me basically pointing out everything that has been going on that no one knows about such as him lying about his flight to combo breaker costing two two grand which yeah, it's not it's not two thousand dollars pounds. Excuse me. It's over. It's it's like six hundred pounds. It's like four hundred pounds shorter. Scott hit him with the with the receipts with the proof that with the proper like booking timing, it's not going to cost that much. I will link this in the description because again, I I can't cover everything in this shit because it's just way 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 too much. And I figured a video would kind of do more than a Twitter thread, but I'm I'm glad that the thread already exists so you guys can look at it. We're going to start off with the alt accounts. All the alt accounts that Newbie has are these right here that a source sent me. This is probably like over 15 to 16 alt accounts that he has. Uh, ever since he got banned out of the Discord, he has went on Reddit and told people that I'm mentally ill because I banned people who beat him in the game. But as you guys can see from the post that I responded to where he says that he 10 twos me every time that we play, it makes you wonder why didn't I ban him out of the Discord three to four years ago every time that he beat me. It's because it's not true. That's not what it is. He continued to spread this narrative in his own Discord which I got screenshots of right here, where he says, moral of the story is, don't beat the owner of a Discord server in a video game, especially if he is a sociopath with an ego problem, and you stepped into a lane that you shouldn't have stepped into. Also, I just need to preface that I was the biggest advocate for wanting him to travel offline to compete with me to take my title from Combo Breaker, which he consistently rejected. Why? I don't know, and I don't really care at this point. But I tried for about two years at this point, and it just never went anywhere. There was no reconsidering whatsoever. He never reconsidered at all. So I just left it there. Also, you tend to me every time we play, but all the times I tried playing you after Combo Breaker 2023, you had a re you had an excuse to not play me. I asked him six days after Combo Breaker 2023, he said no. Two months after Combo Breaker 2023, he said no, he's playing Armor Core. 35 days after the two months were up, he says, bro, I told you between work and Armor Core, I don't have time to play, blah, blah, blah. I told him, okay, you seem annoyed, chill with the tone. He's telling me I'm being passive aggressive. I'm not being passive aggressive. I'm just standing my ground. After this, I gave up on trying to play him, but then he plays Bloody World 1 with someone else. No problem. So, we haven't played in a year. Our last match that we played was late March before Combo Breaker 2023. The score ended, what, 10-6? 6-10 or something like that? Can't remember exactly, but it wasn't a 10-2, I can tell you that for sure. Now, after this ban, he went ahead and made, again, as you guys can see, many multiple alt accounts, which... One of these I have in this Imgur compilation of all of his lies and the all accounts. Here's King of Bloody Roar, his Slayer of Egos. Here's him still lurking in the Bloody Roar Discord under a different account, which I don't know about, but he knows if he says something, he's going to get banned, which is why he has never said anything. Banning somebody out of a Discord to, just because you beat him in a the game, I, you would think that someone would be talked to you would think i would would have been discussed with by many people over the years about that but that's just not the case because clearly it's psychological it's something far 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 more deeper than that here's this all accounts twitter account which he also follows so these are not two different people guys these are the same person he's just pretending 
that it's a different person in his head and he's also telling people that it's a different person when it isn't because he makes an attempt to make it seem like the jerry the hog account is a separate person by them typing up what's cooking and then him saying lol that's not that's not a separate person that's that's newbie um I'm what happens when zero talent meets zero self-awareness, which is actually ironic, but we're going to leave that alone. There's an AI diss track that he made on me that newbie retweeted. Again, just promoting himself, pushing himself up. There's another alt account. Here's him calling me a sociopath, trying to take me off of my sponsor, saying that I can't handle losing. Um, he went after someone that had absolutely nothing to do with our beef whatsoever, saying that her art was awful, which is extremely petty. And here's him basically saying that everyone at combo breaker plays at a low level um oh and after i banned him dom which he's also here you can say hi oh wait you already said hi never mind <laughs> but this is dom basically saying here uh you tried to correct a dear friend who was giving him a compliment you're entitled to your opinion about if he is or isn't the best but there's a time and place for that this one was not it newbie Proceeds to double down and call me a deranged sociopath who can't handle the fact that people are better than me at a video game than he is when it's clearly, again, much deeper than that. Again, if it was about that, I would have banned you years ago, but that's not the case because I'm not that type of person. So this is character defamation right here, like just, just straight up. Uh, also, the same thing that he said like three times. Excuse me? The same exact thing that he said in every other post like almost three times. Oh yeah, uh-huh. And he also says like, it's not an opinion either. He's not the best and will never will be. Winning a, a relevant side tournament, which by saying, by calling it an irrelevant side tournament, you're disrespecting my efforts by keeping the game's exposure active and keeping the game alive at this major. And you're also disrespecting the staff that put in the time and effort to make sure that the game is functional at the event. And here, here's where, like, he says that everybody there were playing at an extremely low level of skill and them him using dom and nan as examples to boost his ego when dom was literally just starting to learn the game he gave the impression to dom here that he respected dom and he was willing to help him like keep on learning dom knew that newbie was very wealthy in terms of knowledge on the game so he played him yes he did get 30 owed but dom didn't look at it as something that newbie was eventually going to use as ammo to you go ahead and speak your piece on that keep it brief because i know you don't want to keep talking yeah. about this bit <laughs> but yeah you're good uh but yeah uh, it was just as jerry said newbie came to me for games i knew he was wealthy with knowledge about the game so i took the opportunity to learn it we played about 30 games i lost our 30 and afterwards we talked about it gave me some tips you know he wished me good luck with common breaker and then he congratulated me on my placement of that common breaker of 2023 so i looked at it as I, okay this was a learning experience only yep. for him to then next year use it as ammo to say oh i'm actually not that good and i'll simply say this as a mentor of the community that is not what you're supposed to do with that type of information you're supposed to use that information to help guide your community to become stronger so that way they can provide even higher level gameplay that you so that you sorely desired as opposed to just uh crapping on them every time that you get the chance we are not score points for you to just do that we are we're people too and it's not like the people who are the best of the world at something have also lost either like you posting games of some of of a set previous to a prior accomplishment doesn't take away the accomplishment and you painting it as such is not good if anything it makes yourself look like a jerk okay yeah well said so my friend kenshi the guy that newbie actually initially responded to where he said that i tend to jerry every time that we play or whatever yeah this is kenshi telling me that newbie followed him on his alt which is the jerry the hog account which you guys see right here so there's an example of his stalkish behavior what makes this comment interesting where he says he's a deranged sociopath who can't handle the fact that people are better blah 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 blah. it makes me wonder if i didn't ban him out the discord and you said this nine times out of ten he would have just ignored this but since he did say this i did ban him out the discord so i guess he was 
warranted, quote unquote, to say something like this, but it's also not true. So I don't know. I just think it's kind of interesting looking at it. Like when you look into like the mental, uh, the mental process of that comment or whatever. Yeah, he's gassing himself up. Ouchie wouchie, the champ got 10 owed. How embarrassing. Like this is not a second, this is not a different person. And I'm guarantee you that that's, he's the one he like, who liked his own comment. Now, going back to his Hyper Beast Discord server, uh, he told people that the admin of the old Discord, aka me, bans people who beats him in the game. Cass says, that's not true, and you know that. I beat him a few times and haven't been banned. Please do not spread such mis misinformation. Newbie saying, I don't know what he tried to tell you, but yeah, that's pretty much it. He's been getting progressively more upset that he can't beat me for a while now, which is complete bullshit, because again, we haven't played in a fucking year. So how the fuck have I been progressively getting mad when I chose not to play you anymore because you always had a reason to not fucking play me? It doesn't make sense. It legitimately doesn't make sense. Again, here is me trying to play him after Combo Breaker last year. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up at all. So another alt account that he has, which at the time was pretty difficult to like pinpoint if it was actually him, which eventually we all realized it was him. Uh, after last year's combo breaker on a re-upload of combo breaker someone said that i was the best and this person had an issue with that comment and newbie's response is oh he's just speaking his mind oh i can vouch for him being good he's not talking out of his anus in that same year after that comment i said the same thing and all his response was bruh chill with the ego so this is supposed to be looked at in his eyes it's supposed to be looked at as something that's humbling but it's not humbling to me because he was the only one that said that he was the only one that viewed it that way and he's the only one well he's one of the people that knows that i'm um, at the time i was a two-time champion so he thinks that because i'm a two-time champion i'm saying that but no what's actually going on is you know someone that has an issue with me and is making claims about me and that is disrespecting me but you don't have a problem with it which we're gonna get to a bit more right now. Perfect Team posted a screenshot of Kenti Menchu saying that I wish that I was newbie so bad or whatever. It was on a set of me playing against Kaz. And I basically told PFTM and anybody else that posts like images of this K guy uh, to stop doing that because he doesn't respect me at all. And it's also weird to think I wanna be another man. That's very odd. So, Newbie's response is this, instead of actually showing evidence that he isn't Kenti Menchu on YouTube, commenting about me, because don't you think if someone accused you of being another person, they would give video evidence of all the YouTube channels that, you know, they own by just clicking their icon and going to switch account and then showing all the accounts that they have? Wouldn't, they, wouldn't that be the first initial response? But you know what he did? He went out his way to make it seem like I was paying him out as a bad person when I was basically covering all fronts. All I said was, look, if this is you on an alt or if this is your friend, keep your friend's behavior in check. Or if it's you, stop that shit because it's just fucking weird. But his argument is, oh, I've been defending you for all these ages and and you always trash talk me and I've always ignored it and da 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 when there's no evidence of me trash talking him at all, disrespecting him in any manner. I've never done that, so I don't know where the fuck he's pulling that out. He's saying that multiple people in the community has been hitting him up crazy talking about me. He's defending me, and oh, you, this is what I get for it, and oh, 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 is it because I'm better than you? And it's like, hold on, nigga, no one mentioned anything about skill in the game. This is about someone disrespecting me, but your argument is, oh, is it me? you're doing this because I'm better than you at the game, which then I eventually, res I, I responded to him, and I told him, like, look, you know what this is about. This ain't nothing. This this has nothing to do with the skill of the game. And then eventually he apologized. And he says, perhaps I'm just desensitized to his abrasiveness at this point. And it's like, how do you justify someone disrespecting a peer? That's not abrasiveness. That's being rude. That's, that's having, like, it just, it's weird. Because he says in the prior screenshot oh like oh i've defended you from many people and this and that and the third but you can't defend me from a youtube commenter that's that's saying i wouldn't make it to top five and and this and that and the third what is it because he's he's ga he's gassing you up is that why you know what i'm saying like the shit gets weird okay i am getting lightheaded just talking about this shit 
And again, there's already documented evidence of everything that he's done at this point. Back in 2018, this had nothing to do with me, actually. This has something to do with another person. So we're going to get him on the line and we're going to have him share what he knows and what he can show off. Oh, excuse me. What I can show off that he provided to me. So. All right, Flynn, say hello. My name is Flynn, and I am yet another witness of newbie's bullshit. Basically, that's all you need to know about me. I was involved in some wiki drama that uh, uh, occurred back in 2018, uh, where he uh, vandalized the original Bloody Roar wiki because the admin was supposedly stealing information that he was putting on his own wiki and uh, passing it off as his own. These okay. are just some snippets of uh, of what he's been doing on the wiki during this period. Oh yeah, then it was these right here. This is him, yep. right? Yeah, this is him because it says blocked. So you blocked him, or Coral blocked him, or whoever blocked him. Yeah, Coral blocked him. He was also blocked on Fandom, from what I know too. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, and these are like a bunch of revisions that he did. He has many more sock puppets too. Like he's. He was, he was, like, on the warpath with this wiki, seriously. Like, obsessively on the warpath. Stolen info and troll reviews made to make the game look bad. Shitty fan... Like, what? Like... This is crazy. That was, a, that was just the, the bloody roar page uh, right there that he edited, the, the, the shitty fan wank thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was just a little fan idea that Coral incorporated into the original wiki during that time. He since moved it to the Bloody Roar fan on wiki. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but during this period, uh, Coral did have his uh, fan idea moved to the original wiki. Okay. Um. All right. So this was when I knew, like, I, I know of Coral. I knew he came to the server at one point. And then I said, he came here, said, what's up? And then he just left. I mean, yeah, he just bounced. I guess I scared him or something. I don't know what happened. He said he got banned for trolling. I said, he trolled. What did he do? He said, also, the dude is a thief. This was in 2018, September 27th. So this was definitely around the time. Yeah, this was the same day, actually, when I sent him the message. Yeah. Oh, my I God. Yeah, that was the same day at 6.03 p.m. He came here, said, what's up? He said he got banned for trolling. And then I was like, what did he do? I don't remember Coral trolling at all. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Newbie is uh, leaving out a whole lot. Newbie, and this was in 2021, just three years later. He says, no, that's not ran by the Discord. That's ran by Coral. He was in here, but I think he left. So you're saying you think he left, but you just said here that he was banned for trolling three years ago. So he progressively lied about what happened to Coral. Oh, God, this is this is a very, very like convoluted, weird, uh, weird thread. Um. Why did you post this with the exact same wording as the person who posted it on the last thread? Did you think we didn't see it then? Why post it again with the same exact phrase attached? Which, if you go back to 2021 on that 4chan thread, right? And then you go to my Twitter account and then you look at almost anything that I post, which, oh, I didn't even mention this, but he actually sent bots or any of those 15 alt accounts that I showed off earlier to every, anything and everything that I do. If you see the show probable spam, it's just going to be an alt saying that yep quick reminder that jeremiah is trash at bloody roar he gets 10 0 by people who know how to play the game every time he's mentally ill da, da, da. he does this on every single tweet that i did july 1st i was not having a good mental day i was thinking about a lot that was going on in my life and this tweet i don't really need to explain the implications of it but clearly i was not in the right uh i was not in the right mindset and this is what newbie had to say on his alt well actually i think it's i think it's blocked but basically he essentially called me a loser and that i was begging for attention and that i was begging for money and all this other shit again tweet, oh my god tweet has nothing to do about bloody roar at all but he called me a loser saying that it was just a stunt it clearly what a fucking asshole it clearly existed but it's not here anymore but if you click show, like it, it should appear, but I don't know, maybe one of y'all could look at it or see it, but it definitely was here because Nan actually responded to it. I know she did, but I'm not even going to go to her profile and show it off or anything like that, but it definitely was there. There's another thing that 
I'm gonna show off that's pretty dark. Um, Flynn gave me permission to talk about this information. Not the exact details of how it, how it occurred, but just the fact that it is what it is. Um, I don't, I don't know how else to say this, but Flynn's mother has passed on. And back in, what was it, 2018? Was it 2018 or yeah. 2021? Back in 2018, on another wiki, don't know what the wiki is, but this is metadata in October. Um, there was an alt account, which do you guys know he has a history of doing it? He made an account called Flynn's Dead Whore Mother. And a lot of these comments which I'm not going to read because I refuse to just hear that come out of my mouth. Uh, he is encouraging self deletion and he is, this is just too goddamn disgusting. Like way too disgusting to even like talk about. I'm not even going to elaborate on it. Everything is just so sick. And I think that's just where I'm going to end the video off. Because, again, there's just way too much to go over. And I'm not going to elaborate on every detail because it's not worth that much energy. But I just wanted you guys to know that this is the type of person that he is. He will continue to lie to people. He will continue to spread a narrative, a false narrative to people. And in his mind, he thinks it's about him being better than me at the game. When it's not about the game anymore. Clearly, it is a psychological thing. And there's something going on in his head that he has never been vulnerable enough or open enough to discuss. With people that you know, he's not friends with no more because he lost the trust of a lot of people. I was friends with him for seven years. Nan was friends with him for more than me, a decade. And I, I think, I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just end it. I'm gonna just end the video there. Dom, thank you for speaking your piece. Flynn, thank you for sharing um, what you did. Thank you. You had my condolences, and I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. you. Yeah. You could go back to doing your classwork, by the way. I'm not going to hold you with for this crap. All righty. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just, that's going to be the end of this. This video is not meant to be like some overly highly produced, cohesive, budgeted, super well-organized video. It's just... Everything that I showed off is going to be just as sporadic and as this video because it's just way too goddamn much. But it should give you a general idea as to the type of person that he is. And I don't encourage anyone to be near him in any capacity because all he's going to do is, again, lie and pretend like everything is okay on his main account. But what he's actually doing is other disgusting shit on other accounts, making people believe that they're different people, but they're actually not. So, yeah, I'm done talking about it.